it's time to face the truth. Days when Korean automobiles were viewed as completely unreliable, boring and not worthy of a smart buyer's attention are long gone. Modern makes from the peninsula are snatching awards left and right across multiple segments for their designs, technological superiority and performance. Moreover, reputable dependability watchdogs are giving these cars the highest scores and highlight market-leading warranty conditions. In this episode of Automotive Territory, we'll reveal 10 newest introductions from the Korean brands that will continue their conquest of consumers in 2021. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, press the bell button to get alerted about the next release, and enjoy the ride! Kia Sorento The fourth generation of Sorento is adopting the latest design choices of the brand, becoming more aggressive and boxier on the outside. The new sharp-edged Tiger nose grille is accompanied by Tiger eyeline headlights, while the rear gets prominent vertical lights and trapezoidal exhausts. Additionally, we are seeing new top-trim 20-inch wheels, rear spoiler and roof rails. At some point, the upcoming mid-size SUV will be getting a plug-in hybrid modification. But for now, there is preliminary data on the 277-horsepower 2.5-liter turbo 4 borrowed from the Genesis GV80. The new Smart Stream Turbo Hybrid, represented by 1.6-liter TGI, a 44-kilowatt motor and a 1.49-kilowatt-hour lithium polymer battery. And finally, the European Balance 2.2-liter Smart Stream Diesel. The interior benefits from the new 10.25-inch infotainment and 12.3-inch digital instrumentation, while the overall feel of the cabin is extremely plush, with such highlights as diamond quilted seats, two-tone upholstery, and ambient lighting. Hyundai Elantra Introduced for 2021, the seventh-generation Elantra abandons its humble compact car origins, instead earning a new sports sedan identity. The car is built on a novel K3 vehicle platform, boasting a longer wheelbase and a wider body with a lower roofline. Coupled with the more angular exterior details and unique grillwork, the Elantra now looks edgier and more athletic. The engine selection is represented by 2-liter Atkinson cycle 4-cylinder that makes 147 horses and 132 pound-feet of torque and the car's first hybrid. The latter makes a 1.6-liter GDI to a 42-horsepower electric motor, netting 139 horsepower and 195 pound-feet. The hybrid is expected to return 50 plus MPG. Plus, unlike its ICE-only sibling, it is linked to a 6-speed dual clutch instead of an IVT, promising peppy performance and engaging driving. The four-door coupe also debuts a cocoon interior layout, Hyundai digital key tech, and a dual-screen driver's interface. Genesis GV80 The Hyundai Motor Group's luxury branch Genesis is finally ready to tap into the market of SUVs. In essence, the sport utility is a posture and more powerful version of the beyond successful 2019 introductions from Korea, Kia Telluride and Hyundai Palisade. The stock engine is a 2.5-liter turbo inline 4 making 290 horses, but the 3.5-liter twin turbo V6 is destined to become the buyer's favorite, squeezing out 375 horses through the 8-speed automatic 204. The 5-seat layout is standard, but a 7-seat 3-row configuration is optional as well. The front two rows have heating and cooling functions, while the driver's spot could be optioned with an active motion driver's seat technology with 7 air cells to fight fatigue. The interior environment benefits from a noise cancellation system, a 14.5-inch split-screen infotainment, 10 airbags, and the passengers are protected by a full set of active safety features. Kia Optima As expected, Optima aka K5 is following in the footsteps of its platform sibling, Hyundai Sonata, which went through the generation upgrade in 2020. The new sedan is not just another Kia. Arguably, it looks better than a Stinger and packs upper-market components at an affordable price. The most striking design choices are the Tiger nose grille that blends into the sharp headlights and unique DRLs, plus the rear light runs through the entire width of the car, just like in an Audi. 
Most likely, the new Optima will be sold in Electrified and Diesel variants in the near future. But the initially announced engine's lineup includes four cylinders, 2-liter naturally aspirated, 1.6-liter turbo, and the beefy 2.5-liter turbo with 286 horsepower and 311 pound-feet for the GT trim. The new Optima becomes a tech powerhouse with the available 12-inch digital cluster, 8-inch head-up display, and 10-inch infotainment. Hyundai i20 The small hatchback enters its third generation with a generous list of standard tech, attractive exterior, and a versatile engine range. The sharper body lines are complemented by a lower stance, a diamond-patterned grille, full-width LED taillights, and spindle-shaped 17-inch wheels. Regardless of its subcompact size, the i20 packs a comprehensive smart sound safety package. Claimed to be the best in the segment, the package includes navigation-based cruise control, blind spot monitoring, link keep assist, and an advanced forward collision warning. The little car also offers two large 10.25-inch displays, one for the instrument panel and one for the infotainment. On the engine front, the bars of the base trim will be limited to a 1.2-liter four-cylinder, producing 83 HP. However, there is an optional turbocharged 1.0-liter inline-3 that can be paired with a 48-volt mild hybrid system, bumping the horsepower output from 100 to 120. Kia Seltis One of the Kia's main selling points is that the company knows how to blend style, value, and a desirable set of equipment under a compelling price tag. Keeping all the advantages on board, the rugged little Seltis SUV officially enters the US market. Unlike the international model that debuted last summer, the US-designated Kia Seltis features a revamped front fascia with bigger bumper diffuser and mandatory side reflectors. The engine lineup consists of two gas mills, the base 2.0-liter four-cylinder delivering 146 HP and the optional 1.6-liter turbo 4, producing 175 horsepower and 195 pound-feet. If the former is made it to an IVT, the turbo can be ordered exclusively with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic and an all-wheel drive. Inside, even the base LX model offers an 8-inch infotainment with smartphone connectivity, keyless entry, adjustable seats, and manual AC. Have you made up your mind about Korean cars? Are they any good? And if so, which one deserves to make it to your shopping list someday? Review the entire episode and share your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get back to it! Hyundai Venue Even though this all-new subcompact crossover joined Hyundai's lineup in 2020, it remains extremely fresh to deserve a shout-out in this episode. The Venue is the smallest and most affordable entry in the Hyundai crossover line, sharing design language with the larger Palisade and Santa Fe sibling. It is set in motion by the 1.6-liter inline-4 that nets 121 HP and 113 pound-feet of torque. This power is sent to the front wheel's 3-6-speed manual, though you can opt for the continuously variable transmission. The car's cabin has modern styling with soft cloth upholstery or optional leatherette combination seats. It also houses a 4- or 6-speaker audio and a standard 8-inch infotainment with Bluetooth hands-free phone system with Android and Apple support. To top it all off, the new venue is packed with a comprehensive set of driver assists and safety technologies. Genesis G80 Do not mind newcomers from Mercedes, BMW or Audi. Without a doubt, the most stunning premium midsize sedan of 2020 comes from Genesis. The design choices implemented in the reworked front fascia are similar to those seen on the previously unveiled GV80 SUV, plus the overall dimensions are shifted from the sporty look of the predecessor to more elegant and calm lines characteristic for a luxury saloon. The model will be offered in three engine choices, two turbocharged gasolines with 2.5 and 3.5-liter displacement and a 2.2-liter diesel, which yield 304, 380 and 210 horsepower channeled to the rear or all four wheels via an 8-speed automatic. The Genesis G80 has a proper upmarket interior 
with plenty of soft touch surfaces and genuinely rich materials. The posh is blended with a high-tech, so 3D digital gauge cluster, 14.5-inch infotainment, head-up display, heated and ventilated front and rear seats are all on offer. Hyundai Creta Also known as iX25, the subcompact crossover SUV first went into production in 2014. And for the upcoming model here, it is entering its second generation, which will be sold in India, Brazil, China and Russia. The newcomer grows in size across all dimensions and boasts a slightly longer wheelbase that allows for its boot space to be expanded by 0.5 cubic feet. The exterior of the subcompact follows in the footsteps of the Hyundai's larger models, but gets much more lively color options with a contrast roof. Three engines are on offer, a 1.5-liter gasoline with a 6-speed manual or an IVT, a 1.5-liter diesel with a manual or an auto, and a top-of-the-line turbocharged 1.4-liter that delivers 140 horses and is mated exclusively to a 7-speed DCT. Kia Axeed The newest member of the seat family, the subcompact CUV, is here to conquer the European market of smaller SUVs. The model sits on the same platform as the rest of the seat lineup, but boasts of an all-new body, updated styling, elegant fastback roof, and more ground clearance. The car gets either 16 or 18-inch wheels and 12 exterior colors, including the luxurious-looking quantum yellow. Under the hood, the Exceed can be spec to your liking. It has three gasoline and two diesel engine options, plus a PHEV modification during the lineup in early 2020. The latter combines a 60 horsepower electric motor, an 8.9 kWh battery, and a 1.6 liter GDI four cylinder. The six speed dual clutch transmission sends 141 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque to the front wheels, while the car's all electric range is rated at 37 WLTP miles. Inside, the base model boasts a heated steering wheel, Fox leather upholstery, plus an 8-inch touchscreen with smartphone compatibility, Bluetooth, and voice control. Hyundai Prophecy This concept is the next attempt by Hyundai to change the perception of the brand by drifting away from the awkward shapes of the former models and into the new sensuous sportiness design philosophy which draws inspiration from Porsches of the golden era. The body of the car is said to possess perfect proportions and is designed with aerodynamical efficiency in mind, getting an integrated rear spoiler, a sleek shape and turbine wheels. The head and tail lights, as well as the spoiler, integrate the pixeled LED tech that we will soon see on the brand's production vehicles. Of course, the model is built over a fully electric platform, though no specifications are released at this time. It features full driving autonomy, but the driver can take control of the vehicle using two joysticks with integrated buttons. Are you convinced that Korean cars are worthy of consumers' attention? Which model out of this bunch gets your upvote and makes you excited about the upcoming model here? Share your personal opinion in the comment section. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to get alerted about the next 2021 lineup review. Like this episode and proceed to other videos. May the torque be with you!